and today we're going to show you the best way to sharpen your images in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Plurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we have three great examples for you on how we can sharpen either specific parts of our images or the entire image. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to take a look here at our very first image. Let's click on F for full screen and zoom in. Now, our subject looks pretty good, but as you can see, the eyes are just a little bit out of focus. They could use a little bit of sharpening, and so much of the time with portraits and things like that, you don't have to sharpen the entire image. I usually do just the eyes, and it makes a big deal. Okay, big difference, big deal. <laughs> Let's go ahead and duplicate the background layer. Control or Command J to duplicate that background layer. Now, the first thing we want to do is desaturate this. So we're going to go to Image. We're going to go to adjustments and we're going to go right down to desaturate. That way, when we work on our sharpening for this layer, it doesn't mess with the color. Okay, so go ahead and desaturate that. Next, we're going to make this a smart object. That way, I'm going to be able to change the filter. We're going to wind up putting a high pass filter on this layer, which enhances detail. We want to be able to change that high pass filter at any time. So always when you're going to use a filter in Photoshop, it's a great idea to make a smart object first. So that's why we're making a smart object. Okay, so on our layer, super easy. Just go to layer, down to smart objects right over here and over to convert to a smart object. You can also right click on the layer and go to convert to smart object. Okay, so now that it's a smart object, we're gonna change our blend mode from normal. We're gonna go to overlay. Okay, I know it looks a little bit funky now, but here is we're ready for our filter. So let's go to filter. We're gonna go down to other and we're gonna go over to high pass. Boom. And as soon as you do a high pass filter, you're going to see you have this radius that you can use less or more. And the more you crank this up, the more it's going to sharpen your image. Now you can see if you go too far, it just doesn't look that good, right? So we just want to kind of bring that back down and get a little bit of sharpening. That looks pretty good. So just use this slider and uh, take a look at your results. <laughs> it's that easy. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now what we're going to do, I usually suggest doing sharpening a couple of times. So we're gonna just duplicate this layer. Let's hit Control or Command J, boop, there we go, to duplicate that. And then we're gonna double click on this high pass here. And then let's just try bring the radius up just a little bit and see how that affects our image, okay? Something like that looks pretty good. And we can hit okay there, fantastic. So you can put a few of these high pass layers on there and they're all gonna sharpen your image. So let's go ahead and just turn these off by clicking those eyeballs and then back on. And you can see what a great job it did sharpening our image. But it just sharpened everything. Like you don't want, you know, skin and, you know, like all this stuff to be super sharp. You just usually for a portrait, just the eyes. So let's go ahead and shift click the two of those layers and hit Control or Command G. We're going to group those together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and create a layer mask here, but I'm going to hold Alt or Option when I click on the layer mask. It's going to make a black layer mask. So Alt or Option, click on that, and we got a black layer mask there. Okay, so from here, I'm going to hit the brush tool. So let's go to B for our brush tool. It's located right over here, and we're going to paint white as our foreground color. Okay, and then literally, I'm just going to go in and paint where I want the sharpening. So I'm just painting over our subject size, make my brush a little bit bigger. There we go. And I recommend going over like the eyelashes, like go over this area, go over the bottom eyelashes there as well. Kind of like this center area of the eye is nice for some sharpening too, because it catches light. There we go. We're going to kind of bring this in and there we go. Don't forget to get the top of the eyelashes there. That's really, really important. Okay, fantastic. So let's go ahead and just turn this off and on and see how that looks like pretty good, right? Turning this off and on you can see we've got a really nice sharpening effect going on in the image. It looks natural and even at this distance, like if I turn this off and on, you can see it really draws a lot of attention to your subject's eyes. So this is my favorite way of sharpening in Photoshop. I don't recommend really using the sharpening tool that much because the results are a little bit harder to get perfect like this. This is in my opinion, it's such a great way because you can still always go in here and like change these high pass filters and adjust the radius on those. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our next image. So for this portrait, we're a little bit farther away. So we definitely want to sharpen the eyes, but we're just going to do like a lot of features on her face as well. And it's going to bring it in just generally sharpening our subject. Okay, so same workflow like before. Go for your background layer. We're going to hit Control or Command J to duplicate that. Next, we need to desaturate it. So we're going to go to image down here to adjustments and over to desaturate. Boom, make it black and white. 
Okay, next we're gonna make it a smart object. You can right click on your layer and go to convert to smart object. It's way down towards the bottom. Or you can go to layer down to smart objects and over to convert to smart object. Boom, smart object. And now we're ready to change our blend mode from normal. We're gonna go down to overlay. Perfect. And let's go to filter, other, and over to high pass. Filter, other, high pass. There we go. And now we can just change our radius here. There we go. The lower I put my radius, this might be good for like details like our subject's eyes. So let's start there. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, let's just see turning this off and on. You can see, yeah, we have a nice effect there. But don't forget, you can duplicate this. So hit controller command J. We're gonna just duplicate that. I think that looks good, kind of like on my overall image. Let's hit controller command J one more time. I'm gonna double click on this high pass and we're gonna bring this radius up a bit and kind of see how this looks. All right, pretty cool. So now we can kind of choose where we want these individual layers to be visible. I'm gonna shift click all of these layers. Again, controller command G to group those together. And then we're gonna hold alt or option and click on that layer mask. It's just gonna make a black layer mask, same as before. Let's use our brush tool. So B for the brush tool, we're gonna paint white. There we go, where we want our sharpening to be visible. I'm gonna do her braids. We're gonna do, there we go. We do her eyes for sure, her eyebrows. Fantastic, because this is, you know, uh, a little bit farther away, so we wanted to see more details on our subject in general. There we go, especially like, you know, cool little details like her her hair and jewelry and things like that, those, those tend to pop. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now keep in mind, I didn't paint white over top of her skin, right? Because I don't really want to sharpen skin that much. It just, like, it'll make any imperfections that are in the skin It'll make those more pronounced, and generally you just don't want to do that. So let's make this invisible invisible again. You can see that's a pretty nice effect that we have there. And again, even if I zoom out, you can see, yep, looking really good. It just draws your attention more towards the subject. Now, of course, you can go in here and double click on these layers where it says high pass and increase or decrease these. So if you wanna get some different, you know, different sharpening effects, you can do that. There we go, that looks pretty good after the fact, even after you've made it. All right, so there we go. Let's turn this off and on here so you can see the before and after zoomed out. And we'll go ahead and zoom in. There you can see the before and after with this as well. All right, looking pretty good. Now in our last example, we're just gonna apply sharpening across the entire image because we have a lot of really interesting textures and it's gonna help them stand out. So for this image, I want all the clothing and everything to like really be sharp. It's gonna be so, so cool. So again, same process like before. Controller Command J to duplicate that background layer. We're gonna go to Image, down here to Adjustments, and over to Desaturate, okay? Then Layer, down to Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. Let's go ahead and make that a normal. We're gonna go down to all the way to Overlay, and then we're ready to Filter, Other, and then High Pass. Boom. So here we can choose our radius. There we go. And I like this because I, I can see what I'm doing like in real time. As I move this radius, like you can see, it's it's changing the image as well. So I can, I can get a very nice idea of how much sharpening I want put on there. That looks pretty good. Let's hit Controller Command J to duplicate that one more time. And then we're gonna double click where it says high pass. And maybe I'm just gonna increase that. You can even, you can go both ways. It, it do, really doesn't matter. It's like, you know, it, it's up to each individual image and it's up to your taste as well. All right, let's do one more, Controller Command J. I love this sharpening effect because it, it looks really natural and realistic, but like also you can tell like, oh, it really makes a difference. Let's shift click and group all those layers. And then I'm just gonna turn all these off and on so we can kind of see how they all look, all of those combined. And in this case, like, you know, I like what it did sharpening my subjects close. I think that's such a cool thing. I can turn each of these layers off and on. And then even like, don't forget, you can lower the opacity. Like if you think you went a little bit too strong with one of these layers or one of these effects, you can just lower the opacity and that's a good way to do it. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna just click a regular layer mask on there. It's gonna be a white layer mask and I'm gonna paint with my brush tool. We're gonna paint black with our brush tool just around the edge. So I'm gonna take away a little bit of sharpening just around the edge of the image here. There we go. And that's gonna help us kind of focus in more towards the subject and more towards the center of the photo. So you can see this area down here, I kind of took away the sharpening by painting black on the layer mask. 
but back here towards the center and over towards our subject face, it's definitely going to be fully sharpened there. And that looks really, really cool. So that's all there is to it, creating these amazing sharpening effects in Photoshop. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a big thumbs up here. If you did, let me know in a comment down below what you'd like to learn next. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.